Like I watched your videos about dealing with Vasvasa regarding impurities, but I have a specific question. In our university in the washroom, I use the hand shower to spray water on the toilet seat. The hand shower has a leak for which water drips from the shower to the floor, which is usually wet. Sometimes this dripping water, sometimes this dripping causes water to fall on my shoes, and maybe the spraying of water causes water to get on my hands. I can't see any visible impurity on the toilet seat or floor. So since this is the toilet, am I supposed to take the water that got on me as najasa? No. Jazakallahu khairan. No, you should not. Because as you have said, maybe there is a najasa on the ground. Maybe it doesn't work in Islam, especially for those who have wiswas, who have uh, uh, OCD. So everything is pure by default until proven otherwise. And hence, the water in the toilet floor is pure until proven otherwise. Yeah, but there is a possibility that there is najasa, there is urine, there is impurity, there is this. There is a possibility. But it's not a real thing. It's not certainty. Yes, Sheikh, but there is a possibility. It might be. I said, okay, yes, your father might not be your biological father. They might have adopted you. Do you have a DNA test? No, Sheikh. Were you there when you were born? No, I was too little. I could not see anything. So how do you know that your father is your father? I know, Sheikh. Subhanallah. So the issue of maybe can destroy your life. Maybe this mug is najis. Maybe the water they made the green tea with is impure or it is from sewer water mixed without them knowing. Maybe there are this, maybe they are that. I would refrain from wearing anything because maybe one of my grandchildren touched it with soiled hand. I cannot pray in the masjid. I cannot lead prayers and... This is not Islam. Islam is a religion of ease and simplicity. Everything is pure till proven otherwise. And this is what you should uh, uh, implement in your life. 